Welcome for RTL online trainings. Today, I'm going to explain you how to create a purchase order, how to receive the goods from supplier, and how to raise the invoice. And in the real time, we'll be getting some issues. When we are working in the procurement, when we are working as functional consultant, your client comes to you that we created purchase order and after creating invoice, we are not able to view the purchase order. What could be the reason? Okay, so we need to cross check the roles and data access and other things. So that's what we are going to do that today. So before that, I've already done the setups. I'll just show you uh, right from the beginning. So make sure that you have an employee. Let's go back to our application. Uh, here is uh, my employee. Let's log out from here. Make sure that you have the access for uh, FSM, Functional Setup Manager so that uh, we can create an employee. First point, I'm just checking our employee is there or not. I've already done this. Uh, I'll just go for showing the setups one by one. So once we go for FSM environment, let's go to financials, setup and maintenance, and go to financials, uh, or we can go to procurement also. I'm trying to search for the users, nothing but employees here. We have different types of users, right? HCM user, non-HCM user, implementation user. We can view in our YouTube channel. There is a separate video about the users, different types. So I have already created an employee here, Mr. Anderson. Anderson is the employee name and uh, username this. Let me search. There are multiple employee names with the same name, not an issue. Let's Mike Smith. That's the name actually I have given. Employee name as Mike Smith, but username is uh, Anders. That's what actually I have provided. So first I'm going to check which legal entity is working, which legal employer and which business unit is working. Yes, this is the username. Anderson is working for US1 Legal Employee and US1 Business Unit. And I'm going to check the user account. Second point, user account is created or not. We'll do it from Security Console. Make sure that you have the access for Security Console. How to find the Security Console access? Your role should be IT Security Manager. So what is the username? Anderson. The moment when we search this user and we can find he's an employee, that's fine. So he can access payables to create an invoice. He's a buyer. So make sure that your employee is a buyer configuration. I'll show that setup also. And you want to receive the materials into inventory. So we got inventory roles, warehouse manager and warehouse operator. And we want to procure the goods from supply, procurement manager. Okay. So one more setup uh, after creating an, a user account, then make sure that uh, isn't procurement isn't nothing but employer setup. To make employee as a buyer. It's a simple setup. We just go to setup and maintenance, procurement, work environment. Let's go to procurement. And we can go for foundation setups. Here I'm searching for agent. Mike Smith. What's this? So I made it already. He's working for US1 business unit and he got all the roles. And I'm going to check the data access whether we given the data access for this user or not. So what we have to do, we have to go for manage data access for users. Once we go to this, select your business unit. users with the data access and search for username here. Click search. You can see that we have already selected username as well as the role names and we given the permission for all our business unit as well as inventory organization. 
So now we want to go for run this particular cycle. So let's go for log into the applications. It's going to create a purchase order. So whenever we want to procure the goods from supplier, goods or service or support, we'll be raising the purchase order and send it to the supplier. Go for purchase order here. choose the supplier i'm selecting advanced corporation here supplier site and contact who is the buyer mike smith current uh, user current employee whoever has connected system takes automatically for which business unit you are going to procure the goods for us one business unit right so now we are going to create the purchase order purchase order information will be entered at four levels headers lines schedules nothing but shipments and distributions let's go for lines here and here we can find what items we are going to give the order let's go for item name quantity unit of measurement price uh, ship to location where the goods are required i'm giving the order five items and let me go for the price as 20 dollars shipments we are supposed to check which inventory you given the order for 001 we have provided the order and we would like to have the material requested is on 25th and delivery date from the supplier 24th save the purchase order so we have given the order to supplier saying that we need this item this quantity this location and this inventory and the total amount is hundred dollars tax 9.50 total amount 109.50 so before going for approvals we'll just cross check is it auto approve or approvals are configured right now it's approve approval but configuration of approvals is a functional consultant we have the in-depth of workflow hierarchy to configure the approvals for purchase orders let me go for purchase order approval here. Submit your RPO. Now the purchase order has been approved successfully. Let's go to manage orders. We can search the PO status from here. It takes a couple of minutes time to get the status, whether approved or rejected. Right now it's pending approval. We need to search a couple of times we'll get status as open status open means approved purchase order open status is nothing but approved now we can find purchase order status is open means approved now we can check the cycle life cycle here so what happened system is telling that the goods has been ordered but we have not received the goods we have not delivered into our inventory and uh, now we are going for invoice next level so now the purchase order number is this it has been already approved we are going to receive this goods into our inventory go to navigator supply chain execution inventory management we got the access for inventory we added already roles warehouse operator and warehouse manager go to task list receipts manage expected shipments receive the goods from supplier give the purchase order number click search button then it will shows that yes we have to receive the goods into 001 inventory and we can find the quantity here five five items if we do not have the idea of the quantity you can click this button show receipt quantity will shows that i am going to receive the goods directly into the sub inventory called stores and create a receipt if already receipt is there then you can go for add to receipt you must enter a value for lot serial number or both depending on whether the item is control it seems this particular item whatever we have selected is uh, lot control so that we are supposed to enable here it is generate lot and serial numbers mm -hmm. So I'm mentioning that from serial number is 
RTL1. Five items means it takes five, RTL5, and go for save OK. So it's going to generate the serial numbers for all the five items. So serial numbers are required to have a unique name for every unit and go for create a receipt. So we received total uh, five items in the orignment. Right. Now let's check the purchase order status. After we receive the goods, let's go back to our uh, procurement, go to purchase orders, search for the purchase order, whatever we have created. Closed for receiving. And we can see the cycle, life cycle here. So ordered and received and delivered. Next, we have to create an invoice. Create the invoice for purchase order. So if you want to create an invoice, you must have the access for account payables. Go to invoices here. In the invoices tab, go to the task list, create an invoice. And we are going to give the PO number. The moment when we give the PO number, it retrieves business unit, supplier, site, and uh, other details. And I'm going to give the PO invoice number here, 109.50. That's the order quantity, or we can get it from here also. If there are multiple lines for your purchase order, you would like to go for receive the items for a particular item, then you can get it only that. So $100 I'm going to configure here. And there will be a, some tax. I just wanted to go for zero tax. We don't want to have any taxes at this point of time. Let me edit taxes here. Zero. This all taxes comes from the separate module, fusion taxes. Yeah. Let's save the invoice. Header level $100, save this invoice. Once the invoice is created, we need three actions. First, we have to validate the invoice. After validation, we have to go for approval. After approval, we have to go for accounting. Now the invoice is validated successfully and uh, approval is not required. It seems this particular business unit auto approval is there. We need to go for accounting and then we have to pay them out. Let me create accounts. Anyway, that is our next level, payments and uh, clearing general ledger, they'll take care of that finance team. Now what we have done, we created successfully invoice for our purchase order. Let's see the purchase order status. It's one of the important question in the interviews or in the supporting project, sometimes your client will rise. Client means uh, end user. We have created the PO and approved, and we already created an invoice. But when we go for such our purchase order after creating an invoice, I'm not getting the result. The system is not showing my purchase order. What could be the reason? So the same user has created the PO, the same user has approved, and invoice is also done. But after completion of the invoice, I'm not able to view the purchase order. What could be the reason? The reason is very simple. Once the invoice is created for your purchase order, your purchase order status will be closed. Your PO status will be closed. When your purchase document status is closed, you cannot get by default that value because if you look at this option, include closed documents as no. By default, what Oracle will do in the search page, they have configured that closed purchase orders we don't want to show by default. Because every day, some thousands of POs will be created from multiple business units. By end of the quarter or end of the year or last couple of years, some millions of orders will be created and those data will be stored in the database. So whatever the POs are closed by default, we don't want to search because that's a history. If at all we required what we have to do, select yes. Even if the purchase order is closed, still I want to get that document for reference. Now we can search. You can see that the purchase order has closed. 
it means you received the goods you raised the invoice it's done that's the reason you are not able to view but if required we have to change that option include the pu okay so this is a general scenario it's a very simple option but sometimes we'll be getting confused why the pu is not uh, we are not able to see that now we can find this is our purchase order number corresponding receipt number and corresponding invoice number we can find okay. this is the cycle of our entire p2p cycle okay so subscribe for our rtl online trainings to get more uh, information about the trainings and placements and real time issues and errors okay thank you thanks for your time spent with us